What's up guys, my name's Stu, and today we're going to be talking about the rumors of the Enterprise F possibly appearing in Star Trek Picard. Now, ever since the introduction of Star Trek Picard, a number of fans, myself included, have been wondering if we're ever going to see either the actual Enterprise F, or at least just like a glimpse of it, some sort of shout out for it at least. We did get to see an Odyssey class in the Star Trek Picard Countdown comic from IDW Publishing. They used the Odyssey as Picard's flagship during the Romulan evacuation, the Verity. But that's about it. We haven't seen any reference to the Odyssey class in the actual show, or even reference to the USS Verity itself. However, that might be changing in Season 3. Star Trek Picard showrunner Terry Metalis has been teasing a number of details about Season 3, including the fact that they are going to be showing two different Enterprises during the season. And while no details have been given on which Enterprises are going to appear, he did also tweet this. Dude really knows how to get my hopes up, just saying. Now, everything else about the Enterprise F appearing in Picard is pretty much just speculation. We don't know if it's actually going to be the flagship of the Federation at this time, or if there's going to be some time travel shenanigans going on, so, you know, you can get both the E and the F in the same shot. That's also assuming the E is going to be in there, too. We don't know who's going to be in command of the Enterprise F. I've seen some people speculating that it could be Worf, and I've seen others hopeful that it could end up being Seven of Nine, who we finally see in a Starfleet uniform in the latest teaser. And technically, we don't even know what the Enterprise F is going to look like if it appears in Picard. While the Enterprise F may be a new thing to a number of fans, those of us who've been playing Star Trek Online know that the Enterprise F has been around for 10 plus years. Star Trek Online held the Design the Next Enterprise contest in, I think it was the end of 2010, early 2011. The winner of which was Adam Isle, or Eile, Eile, I, I'm sorry, I'd always, I always forget how to pronounce his last name. This guy. His original concept art would be developed into what we now know as the Odyssey class. The Enterprise F would later be redesigned into the Yorktown refit following Star Trek Online's Iconian War arc in 2016. The Yorktown then got its own visual revamp at the end of last year to bring it up to the games of current visual standards. Now, the main reason why I wanted to talk about this today is, while Star Trek Picard is certainly within its rights to design its own Enterprise F, I feel like it really needs to be one of these two ships, the Odyssey or the Yorktown. Though if I had to pick one, it would be the Yorktown, just because it's the more visually up-to-date. The old Odyssey class is really starting to show its age. But yeah, I really think Star Trek Picard needs to use Star Trek Online's Enterprise F just because they've done the work. Not just for the Enterprise, but for Star Trek in general. Think about how long Star Trek Online has been around. The game launched in February of 2010. They basically held the torch for the fandom while we had no Star Trek series coming out. Star Trek Enterprise had ended like eight years prior, and yeah, we had the J.J. Abrams movie that had just come out the year before, but that took place on a whole separate universe. And even then, those came out like four years apart. That's really not the same as, you know, a regularly airing Star Trek TV show. So, before Star Trek Discovery finally premiered, the only place to get your fix for the Prime Timeline was either the books, or for Star Trek Online. And yeah, you could argue that Cryptic already got its pat on the back when Star Trek Picard used Star Trek Online ships as background ships for Season 2. And, well, I don't mean to underplay that, that was certainly huge for them, but a bunch of background ships are certainly not the Enterprise. But more than just for Cryptic, honestly, it's the Star Trek Online fans that deserve this too. Like I said, Star Trek Online has been around for quite a long time at this point, and okay, honestly, I'm mostly speaking for myself here, but some of us have grown really attached to these ships. Hell, even Eagle Moss made models of these things. Thanks to Star Trek Online, so many of us already have an image of what the Enterprise F is, and it's this, and I feel like that really needs to finally have official recognition from the shows. Seriously, if Picard gives us Stowe's Enterprise F, I think that's going to be even bigger than when Lower Decks introduced the Titan. At least for me it will be. So yeah, what do you guys think? Are you hoping to see the Enterprise F in Star Trek Picard? Do you hope it's one of Star Trek Online's Enterprise Fs, or do you hope it's a different ship? Though I will say this right now, if you think the ship should be anything other than one of Star Trek Online's Enterprise Fs, you are wrong. You are very wrong. That is the incorrect answer. Go home and go think about what you did. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not sorry. <laughs> So yeah, let me know that down in the comments down below, and while you're down there, be sure to hit like and subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. If you'd like to further support the channel, hit that join button to become a member, or hit the super thanks button. There's also the merch store where you can pick up one of these. Either way, thank you so much for watching. My name's Stu, and I will see you guys next time.
victory is ours.